can we apply these results uh, to new data? Okay, so um, one second here. And if I want to apply this model, uh, I can select which model I want to use, again, based on what I discussed. So let's choose the best performing model. And uh, this is the signature that we mentioned, i.e. the combination of different biomarkers that can help us. And I will select that. You can have up to 25 different signatures here, okay? Um, it just so happens this one only has one. And what you can do is apply this model uh, on new data, on new data sets. You can also apply it to a single patient that you have a measurement for. So you can say, let's say this is 1000 and uh, okay, 999 uh, and this is 20 uh, and so on and so forth. And you can pretty much uh, say that um, this uh, one is having Alzheimer's. So most probably this patient does not have Alzheimer's. The other thing you can do is you can even download your model and the executor um, to that model and be able to um, use that in any kind of um, um, you know, application that you see fit. The model is yours to own uh, and use as you wish.